For real though, can I actually like get some of the stew? You peer inside and see a seething mass of black slimy worms. Hmm. Good. What's it called? Rock. A fierce blaze licks around the base of the cauldron, heating it almost to a boil. Let's talk to the guard. Kill you dead next time. Okay, good talk. Uh, what about the chef? Mmm, plenty muscle on you. Make good stew. Thank you. Been working on it. Much appreciated. Uh, wait, hold on. Brendel. Scoop up Phil. Hold up. You know without asking that Brendel would prefer not to see his pot sullied with the grotesque seething contents of the cauldron. That was worth a shot. I'll, I guess we can just try going to the elf camp then. Hey man. Ooh, leaf shield. Closer, wayfarers. The army of Avalon is at war. Strangers are not permitted in our camp. You can tell I'm an elf because I put a leaf on my chest and on my shield. I am an elf. Uh, we need to speak with King Eventine. This is a place of war, and the king is unavailable. Well, well, we just came from the troll camp, and we need to parlay with the king. Humans in league with troll scum? You are fools to admit such dark dealings. Return to your trollish masters, dogs. Wait, we're not servants of the trolls. We have information that could stop the war. It is too late, fair one. The war has begun. Fair one? Oh, the I'm scum. Of the She's fair? Okay, that's what's going on here. I am Jack Olmsford. This is Princess Shella of Lee and our companions Brendel the Dwarves and Panamon Creel. The king has been informed of our coming. I have my orders, gentle beings. I have had no word to admit you to the camp. But, but we help we help rescue Prince Ayn. Prince Ayn has returned Ayn. with the scholar Davio. He had been kidnapped by trolls. Prince Ayn was kidnapped by monsters disguised as trolls. Trolls are monsters. <laughs> Alright, good talk. I'm just gonna walk past you. We are at war. No outsiders permitted in this okay. camp. Fine. Um... Look. Look, look, look at this, hey. Allow me to lead you to King Eventine, honored guests. Enter freely the encampment of the Arbalon armies. Flash a paper at someone and... Greetings, Jack Holmesford, Princess Shella of Lee, Brendel of Culhaven, and Panamon Creel. Scholar Davio informed us of your coming. I am Eventine Alessadil, and this is my middle son, Ander. I am honored to yeah. meet all of you. I thank you greatly for the return of my son, Ain. It seems my family will forever be in debt to your family, Jack. Thanks, it I'll take money. It seems to me that Arbalon must once again fight a war started by the Warlock Lord. There will be many deaths and little gain. Um, we've come here to stop this war, actually. Jack, Whoa, Panama? You just hit him with an um, actually? At the troll camp. You relate the details of what went on in the troll camp. You ask the elf ruler to accept the challenge of champions. No elf can take on a troll single-handed in combat. Does, does it have to be combat? In a challenge of champions, the chosen defenders of both sides contend to determine the winner. So who, who determines what weapon is used? According to the rules of a challenge of champions, the choice of weapons goes to the side that is challenged. Oh. So why don't you just pick a weapon that will give them an advantage? Like... Uh... Uh... A gun. In any form of combat, the troll has an unfair advantage. What about a battle of wits? Perhaps we could choose a weapon of marked advantage to the elves. Shall we turn the challenge of champions into a riddle contest? <laughs> ah, because they're all very the dumb. A riddle contest is a battle of wits with an unarmed opponent. An excellent suggestion. We shall meet with the troll king at dawn to accept the challenge. Our chosen weapon will be riddles. I invite you all to stay in the elven encampment as my guests. We're so clever. We need to return to the troll camp to tell the trolls that you'll meet their king tomorrow. Very well. Until tomorrow. Farewell. Oh, and we're back. Jack convinced the elves to accept the challenge of champions. Good. If elves lose, they surrender. Then trolls kill them all. Sure no did. trolls die. That's not the way a challenge is supposed to be. Is troll way. You will need to meet with King Eventine Elessadil at dawn tomorrow. Good. 
Tomorrow war ends. Trolls win. You all spend a restless night in the troll camp awaiting the dawn. At first light, you travel with the troll king and his warriors to an open area between the two camps. Yep, looks like a good place to throw down. Greetings, king of the trolls. We meet upon the battleground for your parley. What that mean? <laughs> challenge. Trolls demand challenge of champions from elf scum. The elves of Arbalon accept the gracious offer of the trolls. How we kill you? What weapons you want? Riddles are the weapons we choose. Riddle, not weapon. Elves cheat. The choice of weapon rests with the challenged. No. Riddle, not weapon. No challenge. If you are afraid of losing, perhaps you will apologize for your insults and retract your challenge. What that mean? You're using Say big words. Sorry. No. Trolls, <laughs> what no that mean? Trolls not say sorry to elf scum. And then you will stand by your challenge of champions. Trolls challenge elf scum. Trolls beat elf scum at Okay. Goals. The challenge has been given <laughs> and sure. accepted. The weapon chosen is the riddle. Both sides will withdraw from the field to choose their champion, then return for the challenge of champions. I know you're all going to make me do it. There's much growling and snarling from the trolls as they have another bitter argument. They don't like the idea of the riddle contest very much. <laughs> it's human scum fault. If trolls lose, human scum die. Then elves die. Troll honor? No honor if trolls lose. Who troll champion? Strongest fighter troll? Very stupid. Oh, Telsek <laughs> would make a good champion. He did find the Black Irex, after all. Telsek make good champion, yes. If lose, Telsek die with human scum. Who want to be champion helper? Also die if trolls Champion lose helper? Challenge. Wait. I'll do it. No. Nope. Oh. You <laughs> here. Trolls lose, you die. I'll first. do it. Jack will help Telsek. Stop. Jack be next to die. Volunteering me. Lose. Jack, that's stupid. Yeah, Jack, that's stupid. Good. Not waste good troll when lose challenge. Now we go tell elves we very honorable. Challenge of champions will begin. Wait, so am I helping the trolls here or am I helping the elves? The elven challenger will be the first to pronounce a riddle. The troll champion will present the solution to the elven arbiter before the passing of an hour, or the elves will be declared okay. winner. Okay, a whole ass hour answered, to answer a riddle? troll will query the elven challenger. Again, the elf has one hour to answer. All riddles that can be like a scavenger hunt or something, right? Located within the immediate area of this battlefield. Oh, I spy with my little eye? Found, the champion can challenge his opponent. Unless the opponent produces the object, he forfeits the match. The champion for the elves of Avalon is Prince Ander. The champion for the trolls is Telsic. I shall be the arbiter of the rules, as shall my trollish counterpart, Gronk. <sighs> The elf champion will now announce the first riddle. Okay. On the wind I sail, giving flight to the wing. Graceful, dancing, floating thing. The first riddle has been spoken. Okay. The troll champion has like one hour to return with the answer. Jack, Brindle and I are going to stay in King Eventine's tent during the competition. <laughs> we'll see you there. Good luck. Go trolls. Go trolls! Riddle rhyme. Wing thing. Freaking show is just like, Jack, this sounds like it's gonna suck. We're gonna go hang out with the king. We'll see you when you're done. Uh, I should save it. Um, this, um, riddle me this, Orc man. So, um, hey, on. how's it going, you two? <laughs> You're solving those riddles right and left, I'll bet. Sure. I want to see what was around here. I'm sure there's a lot of cool weapons. Chest? Several huge chests lie on the floor. Were the guard not watching you like a hawk, you might be tempted to investigate them further. I feel like the riddle was supposed to be like a feather. Thing on the wing floats in the wind. Sounds like it's supposed to be a feather. I don't... But it says, like, it has to be immediately... Usable. So this has to be like something nearby that I can give them. Um, the eagle's nest. Search the eagle's nest. You search the lower area of the promontory. Uh, then you spy a lone feather concealed in the abandoned nest. It looks like a treacherous client, but you think you can make it. 
You climb up to the promontory edge and get a single eagle feather from the nest. You found the solution to the first riddle. By the rules of the contest, Talzik must be the one to present it since he is the trill champion. Oh, here, here you go, Kelsik. A feather. Give it to Talzik. Good. We go. I'm a genius already. Hey, man. The troll champion has returned. Do you have the answer to the riddle? Tells a Ken's Davio. The feather! Feather. This is an acceptable answer. It is the troll champion's turn to ask a riddle. Skull Crusher. The riddle has been spoken. Just the Skull Crusher? The has one hour to return with the answer. Uh. I don't know. Finds a heavy rock. Prince Ander leaves the battlefield, but quickly returns with a large rock in his hand. Is this an acceptable answer? Oh, we picked a rock. Yes. <laughs> it is the elf champion's turn to ask a riddle. Silver armor, shining bright. Never yet a noble knight. Uh. Swiftly darting, silent as death. Alive, yet never breathes a breath. The second riddle has been spoken. The troll champion has one hour to return with the answer. Uh, can I hear that again? I hope that wrote, can I write that down in my journal? I need to read, hear that one again. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Um. Uh oh. Uh oh, no! It's stuck in loading? No! It's stuck in loading! It broke! It, it actually broke. That sucks. All right, um, I guess I'll have to reload it. Uh, I think I have to like, just reboot the whole thing. All right, well, just give me a second. I'll fix this. All right, got fixed. We're right back. All right, so let me uh, try to actually check the journal. I might break. So what was it? Silver armor, not a knight, super silent. Death breath. Let me look around here. Hey, how's Shut up. Uh let's see here. Halt. No Yeah, man, I'm just looking for clues. Oh maybe Telsic knows. Let's ask him. Where are we going to find the answer to this riddle? Not here. Okay, do you think the troll king will Okay, we'll skip working. What about here? Do you think we'll find it here? Catch. Catch Riddle. Huh? Catch Riddle. Something... Silvery Knight. Um, hey man. Um, can I just have that tasty stew of yours? What, you give for stew. what can I trade you? Good stuff for stew. Okay. Oh, the guard. Tear you to shreds. Good. All right. Um, I'm gonna turn the music down again. I have the cauldron. Give me this. Oh, so it did say everything that can solve the riddle has to be within the immediate vicinity. So there's gotta be something around here I can like. Hey, Shut up. Um, what wears armor but is not a knight, moves swiftly, is silent, and is alive, but doesn't breathe a breath? Well, I'll bet that armor isn't what you'd expect. Obviously. Um. What would you do? I'd think about something living that doesn't breathe air. Right. So, like, I, I thought about fire, but, like, the, the whole armor, not knight thing. I guess, I guess fire also moves swiftly, silently in his life, but doesn't breathe a breath. Well, how do I? Is it just fire? Um, take fire. Um, say I wanted to grab a fire. I don't even know how. Give me a fire. I don't know. Um, what is that suit made out of? Worms, fat 
Juicy worms. Good. That. That seems to be something. That's like prompted me an option to at least trade for him. Good stuff for stew. You want more worms? The frame. An iron frame holds the cauldron in place over the roaring fire. Um. Over here, there's barricade. The earthenwork barricade is studded with nasty looking spikes. The guard, tent. Um. Also, the stream here. It's a pleasant meandering stream that provides the elf camp with plenty of fresh water and the occasional fish dinner. Oh, can I? Maybe I can, like, catch him a fish. Fish in the stream. As usual, you're having no luck at fishing. You've never really wanted to catch anything before. Maybe just this once you should try baiting the hook. Oh. I need to... Give me a worm. How do I... Fishing pole. Do you, do you want the fishing pole? Can I, like... Shit. Okay. Oh, that's gotta be something. Your troll must stay out here. Can I go in? Oh, Telzik stands patiently outside. Okay, so I can't Jack, go in. What's going on? Have you solved the riddle yet? Good day again, I Jack think it's here. fire. You all got any fire I can borrow? Or chests, a rug. Throne. Uh, let's talk to him. You will forgive me if I do not aid you against my people in this contest. Okay. Um. Search the tent. King Eventine's tent is filled with elvish artifacts, but you don't see anything that looks like a solution to the riddle. Tell and Bridal, waiting here patiently. Right, give me that bottle. Tell reminds you that no one has invited you to take the bottle. I have the rug. There's two large gear around. I like the king wants you to walk off. Okay, maybe I can take one of their things. Well, give me the pot. Give the pot to me. Nope, you'll get it all muddy again. Never mind. Shot. Uh. Can I have the mace. No. Can I have your axe? Can I have your knife. Damn it. I thought maybe I could get like one of their weapons and trade that to the orcs, and the orcs would be like, ooh, good weapon. Have stew. Get worm. Go worm. Fish. <laughs> What's my ultimate goal? Am I trying to get fire? I have your wine? Give me your wine. Pity about the wine. Should have used it sooner. Sure, no use for it now. Uh, okay, I got wine. Maybe I can get the trolls drunk? Back. Uh. Uh, here. Ah, oh, that good stuff makes stew strong. You take good worms, too. Hooray! The cook ladles out a large scoop of glistening, slimy worms and gives them to you. Okay. Worms on the fishing pole. You definitely skewer a fat, juicy worm on the fishing hook. Good. Fish in the stream. Does the L this this seems to be the only running out in the area? You ignore the elf soldiers and lower your line to the stream. After a few attempts, you're surprised to feel a tug on the line. You haul a large fish out of the stream and Telsic grabs it before it can escape back into the water. Good. Oh. We go. The answer is fish. The fish what scale. What is your answer? Telsic hands the fish to the troll arbiter. The fish is swiftly eaten. <laughs> Fire answer. <laughs> this clearly answers the riddle. The it fish is the scale. Troll champion's okay. champion's turn to ask a riddle. Sightless eyes. The riddle has been spoken. The elf champion has one hour to return with the answer. And it leaves the area for about 15 minutes. When he returns, he gives the turtle arbiter a deer skull. 
The skull is swiftly eaten. <laughs> this it is my answer. I gather the skull was an acceptable answer. <sighs> it is right. the elf champion's turn to ask a riddle. In spring I am born. Yep. In summer I darken. In autumn I blaze. In winter I die. The third riddle has been spoken. The troll champion has one hour to return with the answer. I know this one. Fall season. Yeah. So uh, it's like a leaf. Are there any trees around here? Hey. Uh. Come on. Uh. Oh, maybe the potpourri? Hold on. Potpourri. I just need like a just need like a leaf. Because it was like spring is born, blossoms, bum about hangs out in the summer. Uh fall turns a blaze, leaf turns orange, or it dies. Can I like there are a lot of trees here, can I like No? Hey! Come on, okay. Uh, what is born in spring darkens in summer, blazes in autumn, and dies in the winter. Oh yeah, that's an elf riddle, no <laughs> doubt about it. Yeah. You see, they favor riddles about nature. How would you solve this ri riddle? Now you need to remember that elves are very sly. Uh -huh. Even if you know an answer, you won't find it easily around here. There's the guy. Do some careful searching, along with some serious thinking. Okay, so maybe instead of an actual leaf, you need this guy's. Apron or shield, because there's just a leaf on there. Hey, man. Uh, we're trying to solve the riddle challenge. The elves would have won the challenge of champions by now if it weren't for you. Cool. Um, we're trying to end this war without bloodshed. If you believe the trolls will peacefully end this war? You are more than foolish. You know of a guard named Hanny? Do I know of a guard named Hanny? I am he. Oh. Oh. We helped your sister lesson Arbalon. Oh, right, right, right. That's right. I forgot. How is it that my sister needed your aid? She's trying to get laid. Uh, we helped her exchange rings with Prince Arian. Prince Arian is now courting Lessa. That is fair news indeed. Okay. Um, so she wanted us to tell you about them. An alliance between the Alessadil family and our own will be useful. Yeah, profit. Um, uh. Will you? Uh, she's hot. She is strong and willful as well. She deserves a powerful mate. All right. Um. How? Will you help us? I cannot betray my people, even for a friend. We're not friends. I am pleased that she is well. Okay. Can I have the shield? The wooden shield is printed the design of an oak leaf superimposed on an oak tree. Just take it. Just take it. Just take it. Do not take my shield. Okay. You may have aided my sister, but I will not help you against my own people. Okay. Um. We need your shield to answer a riddle. I do not help trolls. Okay. But we need your help. You ask me to betray my people? How do you hope to convince me to do such a thing? Try. Trade. Try to trade? Trade him what? His spear? The Elvish Guard holds a long, deadly looking spear at the ready. Um. Yeah, maybe. Do you want like a. We're gonna trick the trolls, trolls, trolls in this war. Have always been grown as slaves. Trolls. Okay. Um. Trolls. There's a bunch of weapons. Back here. Hey, how's it? Can I have any of these? A massive sword hangs on the wall. It looks nonetheless deadly for its blunt, rusty appearance. Okay. Club? Massive spike studded club. Nearly half your height leans against the wall boards. Maybe we can treat him shields. Can I take the shield? Stealing weapons from the troll camp is not a move that is likely to increase your life expectancy. Good. Man. Tear you to shreds. I'm helping. Uh, can I open the chests? The chest is locked. It must have taken at least two trolls to think of doing something intelligent like that. Helmet? I take- oh, I take the helmet. Oh. 
I can't take anything else, but the helmet's cool. Am I supposed to give him a helmet? Um, Raja. The guard looks askance at the helmet. I've never seen this word before in my life. Unimpressed with its quality and unmoved by your offer. Damn it. Hold on. Um. Hey. You like it? As you hold the helmet out towards the guard, he raises his axe over his head, not knowing whether this is a threat or a sign of grateful acceptance. You back off. That's fair. Hey. Um. What do with the helmet? What, do you want a helmet? I'm probably done with the cook. Can I wash the water off? Washing off the helmet is probably a good idea, but perhaps you can wait until after the quest. Pour water on the helmet that way. Can I f fill this up? You refill the water skin with cool, refreshing water from the stream. Good. Uh, oil? Pour oil on the helmet to clean it. The oil beads right up and pours right off. Yep. Uh. I'm gonna show... Hey, Hel Helsic, do you like the helmet? Not need now. Right. Can I, like, select the helmet? The elven soldier stands guard of the entrance. His tunic and shield decorate the symbols of the king, even Tyne's army. Oh, maybe I can like. Hey, um, looky. He looks at the helmet over, but says nothing. Shield, dude. Okay. Ah. Uh. Like super unimpressed by the helmet. You might need to like trade quest it. I clearly need the shield. Clean it in the cauldron for some reason. Alright, maybe Panama hey. knows something. Hey man. Uh look at this helmet. Panamon reaches for the helmets, but the guard snarls defiantly at you. Apparently, no one is supposed to 